singing in the rain. Just singing in the rain. What a cool Dear friends and followers and aviation enthusiasts, in this video I'll be answering a great question which was sent in by one of my Instagram followers named K Dog. Dear Joe, do airplanes have windscreen wipers such as they have in cars? That's a great question, so let's get started. Okay, let's imagine you're sitting in your car and as you get onto the motorway, it starts pouring with rain. One little move with your finger on your windscreen wipers uh, come on and you have clear sight onto the road again. But how about airplanes? How do they get rid of the rain? Okay, imagine we're still on ground. Put yourself into your passenger seat and imagine that we are slowly taxiing towards the runway and it's raining heavily. A passenger jet taxis in a straight line with speeds at about 30 knots which isn't fast enough for the airstream to clear the windshield from raindrops. The visibility reduces dramatically, which can be dangerous on airport aprons. So one little hand movement, like in your car, every pilot can switch on his windscreen wiper. There's one wiper on each side, which can be turned on separately and has two speed settings, slow and fast. During a rainy takeoff roll, we keep the wipers switched on because as you gain speed, a lot of the water from the nose cone runs over the windshield and the visibility is reduced even more. So you have the option to increase the wiper speed. Similar as you go along the motorway at 60 miles per hour, you may use wiper speed one. But if you accelerate to 100 miles per hour at the same amount of rain, you're gonna have to adjust your wiper speed. So okay, let's imagine we're in flight. Now during en route cruise, the wipers are inoperative. They are aerodynamically and mechanically limited to the speed of the aircraft so that the switches are inhibited. The limit varies between aircraft manufacturers. The limiting speed for an Airbus A320, for example, is 230 knots. On final approach, approximately 20 miles from the runway, you fly at speeds of 230 knots, which is fast enough to clear the windshield from rain. But three miles prior to landing, you will have reduced the speed down to 130 knots and in heavy rain, the wipers are absolutely essential to get clear visibility onto the runway. In the event that one wiper is inoperative, may only the pilot with the functional wiper fly the aircraft. In the event that both wipers are inoperative, which is very unlikely, the aircraft is limited such as it may only take off and land in visual meteorological conditions and its capability to land within certain approach minimums, height and visibility is reduced and limited. Single engine airplanes don't necessarily need wipers because the propeller airstream is strong enough to clear the windshield of precipitation and most of them are only certified to fly in visual meteorological conditions anyways. So the next time you sit in the airplane and it's pouring with rain, imagine the pilots doing this move. I hope this short video gave you a glance into the handling with windscreen wipers on airplanes. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe my channel and so you don't miss future videos like this. All the best, your Captain Joe. Many aircraft manufacturers also installed a switch or a button which allows you to spray rain repellent onto the windscreen in heavy rain, which is similar to your wiper washer. Unfortunately, this liquid was banned in many countries due to its highly chemical substances, so that on most airplanes the switch is set to inoperative. If you have a video of how to use the rain repellent, I'll be happy to see it. <laughs>